Let's now shift our attention to the Arabic story, and this, of course, is coming from Pakistan, where the political conundrum continues to unfold, and the former foreign minister of Pakistan, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, has now been arrested. The Federal Investigative Agency arrested the PTI vice chairman, and this has happened just earlier this evening. The Federal Investigative Agency arrested the PTI vice chairman from his Islamabad residence, and this comes after he had said that he will challenge any delay to the country's elections in the courts. The arrest is presumed to be in connection with the Cypher case, and according to the PTI, he's been taken to the federal agency's headquarters. The same case that Imran Khan had been charged for yesterday. Ever since the 9th of May violence that rocked Pakistan after Imran Khan's arrest, crackdown against the PTI leaders began, and along with that began an exodus of leaders from Imran Khan's party. Even some of the closest aides of Imran Khan left his team, from senior Vice President Fawad Chaudhry to Shirin Mazari, to Malika Bukhari to Chaudhry Wajahat Hussain, over 130 leaders who were said to be really close to Imran Khan all quit the party. The violent demonstrations, of course, claimed at least about eight lives, but what it also did, that it gave the government the reason to go after the PTR leaders. But one minister who refused to leave the Cricket World Cup winning captain for Pakistan was the former foreign minister, Shah Mahmood Qureshi. Now, the Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf has slammed his arrest as part of a systematic attack against the PTI. Imran Khan was booked yesterday for making certain official documents public. The official document contained an account of meeting between the U.S. Department officials and the then Pakistani envoy. Imran Khan was booked under the Section 5 of the Official Secrets Act 1923 in the Cypher case. It was based on a complaint filed by the Federal Investigation Agency. And Imran Khan claims that Washington had a role to play in the ouster due to Pakistan's neutral stand in the Russia-Ukraine war. Imran Khan is currently behind bars in the Tosha Khana case. He has been barred from contesting elections for a period of five years. On the political front, the National Assembly has been dissolved and a caretaker prime minister has been appointed. Now, elections need to take place within the next, within 90 days a limit. However, there's a lot of uncertainty over the actual election date due to the delimitation exercise that needs to happen because of the recent census that has taken place in Pakistan. And it is now being said that the delimitation exercises and new constituencies will be finalized by the 14th of December. And after that, a date will be confirmed for the elections in Pakistan. And Vyond's Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Listen in. Senior Vice Chairman of the Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf and former Pakistani Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi was arrested earlier today from his residence by the Federal Investigation Agency or the FIA. Now, this arrest came just hours after he addressed a press conference where he ad where he showed his concerns with regards to the treatment meted out to uh, chairperson of the Pakistan Tariq Insaf and former Prime Minister Imran Khan in the attack jail and his other party men. Now, it is pertinent to mention Shah Mahmood Qureshi also uh, is the uh, chairperson or chair of the core committee of the Pakistan Tehreek Insaf, which uh, continues to function the party or parties functioning, uh, which l looks after the parties functioning since uh, the chairperson is imprisoned currently and serving a sentence. Now, sources within the Federal Investigation Agency tell me that. Uh, 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 Shah Mahmood Qureshi has been arrested in connection with the cipher saga uh, uh, that he was a foreign minister at that point of time and that interestingly enough his arrest comes in light of the statements that have been uh, 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 that have been put out by Imran Khan or that, ha that Imran Khan has recorded before the FIA in connection with the same case. Anas Malik in Islamabad, Pakistan for Beyond World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.